I'm excited to introduce you to the Go Direct Mini GC. It's the latest version in our popular line of Mini GC gas chromatographs. I'm gonna show you a quick tour of the instrument and then we're gonna do some live data collection. Whether you are teaching the basic principles of chromatography, intermolecular forces, distillation of toluene and cyclohexane, or confirming synthesized products, the Go Direct Mini GC is capable of all of it and even more. First, a quick tour. Similar to its predecessors, it runs on room air as the carrier gas, so it has no external tank you need to hook up or maintain, and this makes the unit quite portable. You could even put it in a hood, a glove box, or just save precious benchtop space. The injection port is right here. You are injecting directly into the column through the septum. The septum is accessible by unscrewing this port. With your purchase, you get two additional septa that are included, as well as a one microliter Hamilton syringe. This syringe has a brown bumper on it that you do not want to remove. It helps the syringe tip from going too far into the column. Injection volumes you're gonna use are between 0.1 and 0.6 microliters of liquid. You are able to measure headspace samples, but you have to purchase a separate syringe for that. The oven goes from room temperature to 160 degrees Celsius. It is best at detecting small organic molecules, including both polar and nonpolar compounds. There is a full list of compatible compounds on our website. That brings us to the software. How do you get data off of this instrument? Well, the GoDirect Mini GC is compatible with free instrumental analysis software via Bluetooth and USB. The software is available for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and Chromebooks. The GoDirect Mini GC is also compatible with LabQuest 2 and LabQuest 3 via USB. Because the Mini GC can detect both polar and nonpolar compounds, let's do a separation of ethyl acetate, butyl acetate, cyclohexane, and toluene. First, I connect my Mini GC to instrumental analysis software. I'm gonna be doing the data collection via Bluetooth, but you can also connect directly via USB. I select gas chromatography, and now I'm ready to collect data. All I have to do is adjust my temperature pressure profile. The default settings are great for giving you a general idea of detection and separation limits, but it is by no means the only option. In fact, for the mixture I'm running today, I want to change the temperature and ramp rate and the pressure. Now we just have to wait until the instrument equilibrates to the appropriate temperature and pressure. While it's doing that, we want to make sure we rinse the syringe with the solution we are going to inject. It is worth noting that the syringe is quite fragile, so you will want to spend some time with your students walking them through proper syringe technique. If they ever pull out the plunger, it will not come back in, and the needle should definitely be treated with care because if it becomes bent, it will be near impossible to salvage. So now that the Mini GC is warmed up, we wanna collect about 0.4 microliters of sample and put the syringe into the injection port, and when I press down on the plunger, I press the white button at the exact same time. So now we just wait for our four compounds to elute. All four compounds have eluted. Remember, I injected ethyl acetate, butyl acetate, cyclohexane, and toluene. They should have eluted in the order of increasing boiling point. My first compound here is ethyl acetate. To determine its retention time, I can use the statistics feature, but we also have a built-in peak integration tool. I select my peak and then click add peak. And there it is. I can change the name of the compound and I can see the retention time right in the table below. So I just repeat this for all my peaks. I can make this data quantitative if I do a series of known standards with the same instrument, with the same temperature and pressure, and generate a calibration curve. When I'm ready to start another run for data collection, I simply press collect, set my temperature and pressure, 
if I want to change it. And the run behind it is automatically stored. And I just keep repeating this process until I'm finished with all my solutions. When I've completed all of my runs, I can save data as an IMBL file, which will open in Instrumental Analysis or Graphical Analysis Pro. Or I can also export it as a CSV so that it can be opened in a third party software. Lastly, I want to address a few commonly asked questions about our Mini GC. There is little to no maintenance that needs to be done on the Mini GC. You don't need to prep the column or bake the column except for troubleshooting purposes. There are no user serviceable parts on the Mini GC, which keeps the cost of the instrument low, but also predetermines the list of compounds that can be detected. It's for this reason that I highly recommend going to that book of free experiments that's included with purchase and reviewing those experiments first and reviewing the complete list of detectable compounds that's available on our website. If you have further questions about the GoDirect Mini GC or any of our other chemistry products, please email chemistry at vernier.com.